There are two people here. They both have three common symptoms, fatigue, personality change, and overall weakness. All three of these are possible symptoms of both depression and a brain tumor. So why is it that the one on the left who is suffering from a brain tumor is considered sick, whereas the one on the right who is suffering from depression is not? The answer is the stigma associated with mental illness. Stigma is defined as a mark of disgrace associated with a particular person or quality. You might be wondering how stigma relates to mental illness. Despite advancements in understanding the brain and its relation to the onset of mental illness, negative attitudes toward sufferers are common. This can affect the individual in two ways. The direct effects are verbal abuse and harassment. There are also indirect effects, such as a loss of self-confidence and reluctance to seek treatment. The individual may start to think things like, why should I even try? Nobody cares about me. Other indirect effects are fewer opportunities for jobs, finding a house or social activities, and inadequate health insurance. So how do we get rid of the stigma? First, we need to educate the public on signs and symptoms of mental illness and how to treat it. Second, the media needs to portray mental illnesses more accurately rather than glamorizing them. Third, make support groups more prominent for those who are struggling. Lastly, it is important to try to have a positive mindset and remember that you don't know what could be going on in someone's life.